Hey guys, what's up? It's Echo. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Usually I uh, script out my videos, but today I'm just going to go for it. Um, so the other day I picked up this guy here, the Steam Controller. And basically what I want to show you today is how to use the Steam Controller with Black Desert Online without enabling the Steam Overlay. Uh, the reason I want to show you this is say you manage to get the steam overlay done and you're playing your game and you happen to alt tab or hit the steam button twice which i do all the time and uh it stops working in black desert online so that's a problem when you're trying to play the game i'm gonna go right into it so basically how we set this up is Okay, so we're going to open up Steam. And what you do is you go into big picture mode. Okay, and then you go into the settings, controller, configuration, desktop configuration, and then you set up your configuration for the game as the desktop configuration. So this way, if you have managed to get Steam Overlay working and it screws up for some reason, you will be able to go in here and set it up as if you were playing your game. And then that way, when it crashes, you'll still be able to play. As you can see, I've still got full control even though when I press the Steam button, the overlay doesn't come up. Now, before I figured this out, I was getting very frustrated and I was actually thinking about taking the controller back because, you know, I was in the market for a controller, right? But I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. And from what I read online, you know, the Steam controller, not a lot of people liked it very much um, for Black Desert. But then they also said that if you took the time to mess with it, you could actually really like it. And I do, because I can do everything I can do with the mouse and keyboard in here besides type when the overlay stops working. When the overlay stops working, I can't type. And that really sucks. I mean, I'll try it here. See, the keyboard doesn't come up, and I actually can't do anything with the keyboard. Now, another interesting thing uh, that I've got set up on the touchpad is a double tap. Double tap is click. And clicking the pad is right click. I really like this. Um, sometimes you got to be careful. You know, you accidentally hit um, double click when you're like looking around, panning around with it, and you might accidentally, um, you know, fire your bow or something. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit about how movement works. Um, I mean, it's just like as if you were playing with the keyboard and mouse, really. Um, <clears throat> Super simple, super easy. So you can actually, you know, still control the map just like you normally would. Sometimes it gets a little bit frustrating because you have to double click and then hold and drag. But I mean, you get used to it after a while. Uh, you can also right click and drag, change the pan. You can scroll in and scroll out with the clockwise um, movement on the left pad. I would not suggest movement with the left pad. I tried that; it was it was awful. So, I mean, as far as as far as what I've tested, you actually will never need the the Steam overlay in this game to make this work. The only thing you would need the Steam overlay for is if you want to, you know, like press the Steam button and you know talk to your friends without going out of the game. To be perfectly honest, I'm still thinking about using the Xbox One controller with the chat pad. Um, because I do want the ability to type in game, but I mean, on the other hand, I really enjoy the experience that this, this controller gives you for this game. I mean, it, it doesn't feel awkward. I mean, it feels really awkward at first, but I mean, after a while, once you get used to it, it's actually very, very intuitive. The only thing that... I wish was a little bit easier was a double click and drag because I, I do that a lot when I'm doing trade runs or like trying to set my destination where I'm gonna go so I mean that's a little bit frustrating but other than that I mean I really enjoy it it's great for combat 
you can set it up basically however you want. So for the spammable abilities for a ranger, you can, you know, just hold a back paddle and change the direction and you'll... What's going on here? What's going on? Okay. So you can change the uh, direction, you know, change the direction of your spam. Uh, basically just keep moving because that's what really what's important with Ranger is just to keep moving and I don't have a problem with that with the controller you know I did for the first day or so you know messing around with it like I would die because I wasn't paying attention you know because I was distracted by the controller or whatever or you know trying to set key binds but once you get all of your keys that you want set to the controller the way you want them it's really easy Hey guys, so I was going through and editing the video and I decided I wanted to include some uh, other footage using DxTory instead of OBS to record. Uh, this should have a little bit better frame rate and you can kind of see how I use the controller for combat. Full disclaimer, I do change my graphics settings when fighting in this game versus uh, just running around because uh, for me, you know, it's kind of hard to play a game, you know, under at least 60 FPS, so... Yeah. Thank you.